Hi everybody, Scotty G, the retirement guy here. Hey, I know you saw the episode where I was talking about that special gift from that special person, AKA Melly G, the African chef. Remember to check those lines out when you see them on YouTube. So today, we're gonna try something with the wonderful shaker. And it's gonna turn out to be a raspberry kamikaze. And I'm gonna make a shot version and a sipping drink at the same time. So, as always, you need some ice. That looks pretty good for ice going into the shaker. Of course, generally for a kamikaze, you need a little bit of vodka. Um, I don't have pouring spouts, hint, hint, hint. So, this is my new measuring cup. I tend to prefer Kettle One vodka, but any vodka would work. And since I'm making a extra large drink with a shot, I'm not drinking this right away. So there goes the vodka in the glass and the shaker. Yum, yum, yum. Of course, when you're using a kamikaze, you need a little bit of triple sec to kind of sweeten it up with that orangey flavor. And they're typically 50-50. I'm gonna go a little bit less, because you know, the retirement guy's not a mixologist yet. But mixology is like metrology. And to understand metrology, you have to be <clears throat> a metrologist. And since Scotty G, the retirement guy, is a metallurgist, kind of like metrologist, you can see how it goes from one to the next to the next. So now I have my vodka, wonderful kettle one. I have my triple sec and my ice. Another item that's always required when you're making a kamikaze is a lime. So, some of this might be difficult to see, some of it might not. But if I put in a couple of, oh yeah, you can smell the fresh lime juice. Unfortunately, since you don't have smell-o-vision, whereas I do because I'm here, you can tell what's going on. You can see the juice going in there. Uh-oh. Even the super dog thinks that this is a wonderful idea. Now, I'm going to shave off a little bit of that for garnish. We'll save these two special pieces for drinks for later. And the rest, my dear friends, has to go into the drink. Mm. Lime squeeze one. Lime squeeze finale. That felt pretty weak, to be honest with you. We'll put it on top. So, my drink now, it's difficult to see. Oh, you see stuff in there. It's looking pretty good. So normally, you would muddle your fruit or maybe your leaves or something in here. However, raspberries are very, very fragile. So we're just going to put them in the shaker. And by the act of shaking, oh, you can hear that. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Just by the act of shaking, it's actually bruising and tearing into the raspberries. So, we've got that section taking place. I think the only thing that's left, first off, you take your shot glass. Of course, you know, living where I live, no, 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 great shot glass. We'll come back here. Oh. I guess I need a little bit of practice, folks. We're gonna try that again. You come back here. Mmm. Look at the beautiful pink flavor. Look at the beautiful pink color. In the glass. We're gonna drop some ice. We're going to pour the rest of that raspberry concoction in here. Mm. 
If I could squeeze the ice, I would, and it would squeeze out. Well, look at that, see? Ask for miracles, and look what happens. And then, we can top. Sorry, you didn't get to see that. We can top the shot glass with a little lime. And, We can take the drink in the pretty glass. And say, bon appetit. Except I'm drinking, not eating, but in some languages it's still the same difference. Hmm. That, my friends, is a delicious beverage. So, here's Scott G, the retirement guy, trying something different. The drink recipe came from the tipsy bartender. You got to check him out on YouTube because he is hilarious. Otherwise, enjoy. Have a great day. Well, to finish off, folks, here's just a little close-up of the drinks and the glass with a little bit of something on top. Um, of course, the Packers rule, and since the game is on Sunday, that's going to be good. And uh, nothing like uh, an island drink. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. The Retirement Guy is on a fixed income.